Good win against Batley here uh, last weekend, Richard. How do you reflect on the game? Not a good win. Not a good win. No. Uh, it, we, we won at the end of the day. We want to win as many games as we possibly can. But I think, uh, I don't think it was a good win by our standards. Uh, I thought, yeah, uh, defensively they unpicked us a couple of times. Um, and discipline wise, then another man sinned in. Mm. Although I did speak with Phil Bentham and he had a, we had a really good discussion about the referee's performance and, and uh, we had a real open, honest, frank conversation and, and I got quite a lot out of that. So uh, I know what we, what we need to be doing going forward and, um, and I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend's game. But uh, I hope we improve this week yeah. in our performance. Uh, whether that's enough to win if, away at Featherstone, we'll see. But I think we'll have, we'll have an improved performance this week. Is that discipline, is that something that's caused by ourselves or is that maybe referees just getting tighter on just discipline in general? What, what, where do you say? Inconsistencies lead to players getting frustrated when one team's doing something and we're getting penalised and then the other team does very, very similar and don't get penalised then players become frustrated but we've got a, we've got a rise of ball but above all of that uh, you can limit yeah, uh, you can limit all that with you, with better contact defensively, making sure you're not getting left on the ground and players aren't playing the ball on you, um, being on side and being square at marker. Um, we have too many unforced errors, which is nothing to do with the referee. It was just to do with uh, a lack of skill in that game, uh, probably down to a bit of fatigue because we defended our line. Our defence was outstanding. I know we bro they broke us a few times, but. I would suggest probably 20, 25, 30 percent of the time in that game we were defending goal line, mm. which is something that you know we did really well. But we needed to kick on after being eighteen points up. An improved an improved performance needed for the Feverston game yeah. this weekend. Well, yeah, definitely, definitely. They uh, put forty odd points past Batley a couple of weeks ago at home. Uh, they're a strong team. They'll have they'll have a, a glut full of players from Leeds in in the team and. You know that's that's something that we'll have to um, we'll look at, and we don't we, we don't we're not preparing because we don't know who who will we're coming up against. But it's important that we concentrate and prepare to the best of our ability, execute our plays, our plan. It's been play led this week, which has been fantastic. The players will be buying into the game plan because they've come up with it. Obviously, Featherston quite a quite a new squad from the, the side that we played last year. What what do you make of, of their squad and their start to the season? Yeah, really strong. It's great that they've they've managed to put a really competitive side out from from where they were last year, not making the four. And that was probably always going to be the case. They've got a very good strong link with Leeds, and they utilise that really effectively. But they've made some good signings themselves. Cameron King's an excellent player for them, and he's pivotal to what they do. And then Boris Brothers, fantastic, sensational. Uh, really good kicking game, so uh, we'll have to combat all of that um, and, and make sure that we improve uh, on our with our ball control, our discipline. We'll get tested. We will away at Featherstone. You don't get a lot down there, <laughs> but that's. But we'll, we'll make sure that we're uh, we're on top of all of that this week. Important game, you know. We, if we if we if we said at the start of the season you win three out of your first four games, I would have bought you know bit your hand off. I think that's. It's a really good return on our investment there. Uh, two out of four is still not bad, but nowhere near as good as three out of four. Do you like going to Featherstone away as a coach? It, it always seems to be quite a quite an occasion, really. That, that obviously, with the rivalry between the two sides. It's third, I think it's the third time I've been in the last eight weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two so, yeah, I've probably go. You know, I might have well buy a season ticket. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, we, we we've played a few. We've played them a number of times already. Well, we've played at Featherstone. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We're all right. You know, there was a bit of a, a you know, a, a hoodoo there for a couple of years where we couldn't we couldn't buy a win there, could we? Mm. And we managed to get through that uh, last year. And that's it's different coach, different team, different. Uh, it's, it's completely different from last year. And they play a different way. And they've probably not hit the straps yet and found the feet as a as a group as a team yet. But individually, they they they've got some exciting players. Where do we stand on injuries at the moment? Can we expect Ben Johnson and Chester Butler to be involved fairly soon? No, no. Uh, did, Chester did a bit of running, but he's not quite right, so he won't be involved. Ben Johnson's done some training. He's not far off, but I don't know if he, he, he won't be ready for this week. Uh, Shane already got 80 minutes in last week. Yeah. A bit rusty, but he'll be better for that performance. Uh, ben Kay can be added this week from his head knock. I think he'll, he'll train okay. 
Uh, everybody else is as is, you know, we're, we're picking from, from from a strong team really, you know, whether we utilise anything from Castleford, not quite sure. And just in terms of Conor Davis and Harry Kidd, I know you mentioned those two last week, what's what's their, their situation? Yeah, Harry Harry will be fit, uh, okay. Harry will be fit now, he's, he's, he's had a week training, uh, he rolled his ankle in practice a few weeks ago. Connor, he's not in full training yet with his ankle that he did against Sunderland, so that's quite a long time ago, really. Mm. Just got a twist of that of his ankle, uh, but he's progressing well. Um, yeah, and luckily we didn't pick up too many injuries against against Batley, which is one of the positives to come out of the game. Uh, but we've got another session, a couple more sessions yet. So, as I say, it's it's a player focused week this week, uh, leading into what's you know a really important game for us. And I've seen on social media just finally that you're giving away some tickets for the Feliston game. Very kind of you. It's, you know, that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Anything for the cause. I think we've got some tickets for for our our supporters, sponsors, whoever wants wants to come and watch Halifax and Featherston at Featherston on Sunday. I think you have to tag someone in on Facebook. Uh, I'm not in, I'm not savvy with social right. media, as you know. Yeah. Um, I better get the wireless to work nowadays. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's great. So that's you know we we need to engage a little bit more on that with our social media and get going with that. And this is just another uh, the, the club will come up with an idea to give some tickets away. It's fantastic, you know. I think our support here last year last week was outstanding. Uh, we had we had a lot more supporters than I would have thought. And looking round the ground after the game, lots of young faces there, face painting and everything that's that's going on. It's really positive. So we've got to make sure that we're as positive on the field. Thank you. Uh, Rich, best luck on Sunday and we'll speak to you then. Thanks.